depend on you. Kiss. Kiss. Hey guys, and today we are with Carolyn, and she has a ton of birds. So I'm super excited to be here. Nice to meet you and all your birds. I'm excited to have you fly around the park. I'm the bird woman, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what kind of bird do you want? She has her whole house into a zoo. A zoo full of parrots and birds. Welcome to my zoo. <laughs> I'm Caroline. I have a seven parrots so this is hope he's my best free flyer oh, um he's he so is beautiful. six years old he's a catalina macaw or also called rainbow macaw and i none of my birds are clipped they're all fully flighted so this is a zoo he's good they're gonna fly all over you so did you rescue all these birds no i rescue half of them that's so half, fun there's, oh, there's one. another one that's angel Angel. Angel was a little lurky. He's the smallest, but he's the bossiest. Mm. Wow, he's so beautiful. Yeah, he's like an Australian um, <gasps> rainbow lurky. Kyle, you want to hold him? Yeah. He's really sweet. And if you put him like right in front of his, your face, he's going to give you kisses. Kiss. 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 Yeah, he's really <laughs> kissing sounds. This is a cool bird. I like this one. That's yeah. so fun. Those little lorikeys are little clowns. They are pests in Australia. They kill them. They are all over the place. Oh, that's oh, sad. That's sad. <laughs> Very sad. And in here, they are high end, like rare and exotic because you can't get them here. Oh, he's so beautiful. I love yeah. this orange stripe or red stripe on oh, his chest. Oh, oh who's this? this? <laughs> This is love. He's a macho. You see, he's flexing right now. Okay. He's my other blue macaw. But now he's all macho. Come here, you little macho. Come oh here. You gosh. see, he's flexing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was really, really sweet. He's a baby. He's only four years old. Are you flexing, love? So he was a baby that I really wanted him. Okay. He's, he's like a wish bird. Okay. Um, so it took me... I think like one year to be on a waiting list to get him. And um, I got him as a baby. He was four months old. He got chipped to me. And then I raised him, hand fed him, trained okay. him for free fly. So he's okay. a little one. Do they get along? Um, well, he doesn't really like her. She likes him. They are 30 and four. I hope one day I can breed them. Okay. <laughs> some new birds. But I hope he could be calm. And, um, Love was really, it's really sweet. Give him like probably like another. Oh, he's chasing her down because Glory was a rescue and she couldn't fly. She's on the bottom of the food chain. Okay. She's the only bird who can fly, and also her wings are already fully grown in, but she still can't fly. Okay, Glory. Okay, oh, boy. There you go. You officially have a hyacinth on you. That is so cool. Is he so good in the world? <laughs> this is the guy I rescue. He is a military macaw. He is called Victory. He was locked up for probably over 10 years in the cage. I think a Mexican family had him because he talks Mexican, right? You had a lot of trauma in that cage, right? Poor birdie. Yeah, I'm so sorry what happened to you, but you know, you're not a better place of us. Are you happy here? You happy here? All the birds? Yeah, and now you're fully flighted. He's a talker, but he's the only bird I cannot touch and handle. Oh, he just stays in his own little area? Well, no, he flies around. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he'll, he'll answer. He answers all the time. Do you want to be friends? Do you want to be friends? Okay. <laughs> Do you like me? <laughs> you want me friends? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, there oh, there we go. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on, bud? That's is this Lori. Okay, that's the 30-year-old. She doesn't like to be touched, right? Yeah, she you can't touch. And Glory has anxiety issues. Oh, is 
Are we, are we stressing her out? No, she's excited. She 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 feels left out here. Oh. She wants to be part of the action. Oh, okay. <laughs> Glory um, was rescued to me through a neighbor. <laughs> this is normal in my house. <laughs> and um, when I got him as a baby, um, her old owner who owned her for 26 years, yeah, yeah. his wife had cancer oh. and he couldn't keep her. And because I was getting him a baby, she rehomed her to me. You're so, you're so pretty. Do any of them talk? Yeah, behind you, that's Destiny and Faith. Well, the other head at Amazon. He's one of the best talkers together with our African Grey. Okay. And next to him is Faith, the redhead. She's a Mexican redhead. She is his girlfriend. They grew up together. Oh, yeah. she has so many bird babies, Kyle. So this cute. is so fun. This is Angel's cage. This is Glory's cage. Oh, oh, yeah. All the windows. They're eating the windows. Oh, no. Does that mean they want to get out? They're having fun. And basically what I do, I buy them toys to break. To oh. So I have to pay That's money smart. to go buy them toys so they can destroy. And even if they have toys, they still destroy the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then check out this wall. They're eating the paint off the wall. Wow. Yeah. That's like a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. You guys need to eat your own toys. Yeah. Right, buddy? <laughs> this is all for them to destroy. So this is Angel. Um, I had another bird like Angel or Rainbow Lori Key. His name was Dino. He died. Then I got another one, but he wasn't like Dino. This guy throws tantrums. He's not really loving. He's playful. He's totally different. And then I bought Hopi. So those two bonded. Wow. Hopi and Angel. Yeah. He's... And I bought Destiny. And I had Faith. Faith was a rescue as well. Um, somebody found her and we were trying to find the owner. We found the owner. Turns out the owner released her into the wild because he she bit his daughter's finger oh. and the owner didn't want her anymore. Oh. And he wanted her to join the wild flock, but because she's domesticated, she would have died. So she landed in somebody's fence and he came out with a cracker and took her in, but he had cats, so he couldn't get her. And then um, he just rehomed her to me. There you go. You officially have a hyacinth on you. That is so cool. Like this is so cool. bird in the world. <laughs> Are you serious? Wait, How really? much is one of those birds? Well, now in California, they go for $50,000. Oh my goodness. 50000 That's mm -hmm. a lot. And in Australia, they go for 100000 Hey, No. He didn't bite you, right? Uh, only a little bit. This one. So guys, right now we wanted to drive out to a park and we're going to do a free flight. So basically they run and fly around the park and then they can come back and land right on their shoulders. So she's getting harnesses so we can go do that. Let's do it. And it's trained. So I trained them as a little birdie to wear a harness. And the harness goes over his wings like that. Because they're fully flighted, I don't want to have them just when we walk out fly all over the place. Free yeah. flight means they can fly free, but you have to also control the situation. Mm -hmm. And with free flight, there are hawks or crows or ravens or other wild birds that will come and attack. Mm -hmm. And um, then um, with this, they are more secure. So mm -hmm. now he's in the harness. He doesn't like the harness, but he tolerates that. And it's also really nice because I don't need to clip his wings. <laughs> if people clip birds' wings, <laughs> They can have the bird sit on their shoulder and go out, but still a clip bird can still fly. Usually wings are like fingernails, they grow out. Um, but if somebody clip the birds too severe, the bird has no balance. Oh, okay. And that's cruel. We love wings, we don't clip them ever. He's never been clipped ever in his whole life. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a GPS to my bird. This is a transmitter. Okay. And this is uh, the GPS. This is a tail mount GPS. This comes on his tail. Okay. So with an app, I know exactly where he is. So if he like doesn't come back or something like that, you can find him? Yeah. This is his little turbo GPS. Mm -hmm. And Hopi, turn around, give me tail. You see, there's a tail mount right in here, and this is attached to his tail forever until his tail feathers like fall out. And all okay. that I have to do is pinch this little GPS clip and clip it in, and it just attached like that. And it just blends in with his tail. 
Yeah. You see, now he has a GPS. It's super lightweight. It's only eight grams. He doesn't feel it. Mm -hmm. And I know where he is and I have peace of mind. One, two, three, go! <laughs> So, Kyle, are you ready to race with him? Okay. You want to race him? Okay. One, two, three, go, 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 race, race, race! Ah! Yeah, wings uh, carries faster than legs. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to try it again, Kyle? Sure, I'll try it again. Okay, huh. one, two, three.